Although you are running your PC at its base clock speed and it's generating some extreme heat, consuming extra power, and the processor fan is always noisy. So you are given a second thought that on the in your ZPU, but you are confused whether it's safe or not. Well, I can feel that, but right now I'm gonna tell you whether it's really safe or not safe, and why not to try even on the in your CPU or GPU. All you need to do is to stay with me, and I promise you will definitely have the answer. This is gonna be a very quick one. But here is the thing, since it's more technical, you really need a technical background to actually do it the proper way, or else you will break your CPU or the graphics card. So some of the good things that benefit your CPU when you undervolt it is it increases the lifespan of the CPU and it keeps the optimum performance. Also by undervolting the processor, it can run your CPU longer than before. And also, you know, as I said earlier, it omits the noise of the fan, which is very disturbing. These are my questions like, why do you really want to undervolt? What do you use it for? Do you use it for gaming? Oh, it all depends on you. And the base clock speed of your CPU, is it enough for you that you really need to go Go beyond an undervolting. Now, when you undervolt, it won't actually affect the performance. And the one last thing: whether your PC consumes more power or not, is the power supply enough, or is the power supply actually going to be favorable enough to undervolt your CPU? For me, the thing is, if you use your CPU for light purposes like watching movies and running lightweight programs, then overclocking is for you. But However, if you're a heavy-duty gamer or a graphics designer, a YouTuber, just like I am, or use your PC for a heavy work and need overclocking the CPU, well then undervolt is not recommended for this one. Because here is it, if you're trying to overclock and also undervolt your CPU at the same time, it's definitely going to break your CPU. It will break your CPU. So technically, that is it. If you really want to undervolt your GPU first, know why you really want to undervolt it. And also check the power, check the kind of work that you're going to do with your PC, undervolt it at your own risk the correct way or else you're going to end up turning your CPU into a stone. Anyways, don't forget to smash the like button if this video is good and very informative. Subscribe for more content like these. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.